Well, hello. Uh, it's later on Saturday uh, from our earlier video. It's about uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Snow stopped about 10, 10, 15. Uh, probably got maybe an inch, like they'd said. Uh, bright sunny now, and uh, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit, which is what they had said was supposed to happen. Just thought we'd get out. We're back out at Tillman Lake again. Uh, and thought we'd uh, fix a little lunch today. Uh, I haven't done anything like this on any of my videos. My videos have both mostly been uh, showing you where I am and traveling. Uh, but I thought I'd show you uh, a little alcohol stove that I have uh, homemade, made out of two soda cans, and a couple of little modifications I've done to it. Uh, used it at home a couple of times just to make sure it works. Uh, so this will be really the first uh, field test, I guess you could say. Uh, fix a little bit of. Uh, the backpacker stapled some ramen noodles and uh, brought some coffee. So uh, let's just see what it's like. Traditional setup, just uh, two soda cans cut in half and top bottoms put together. Uh, the difference I did is I added a couple of uh, galvanized screws uh, there for my pot stand uh, so I don't have to mess with that. Uh, my uh, pre-staging pan is is basically a, uh, a can top. Uh, we have one of those can openers that actually cuts the can on the side instead of the top so it leaves a nice little lip about a sixteenth of an inch. Got a windscreen I've been trying out. This is just another aluminum soda pop can. Uh, seemed to work okay. Uh, I cooked in uh, just uh, I guess this is a 24 ounce can. Uh, I put some uh, just some cotton rope around it to uh, keep from getting burned, and then I have a, another can that I use uh, to drink out of, or, or or you know if I'm having some uh, lighter soup type stuff, it'll fit right in there. Fuel bottle I carry uh, just a Minute Maid orange juice uh, bottle carries about eight ounces of, of fuel. Uh, so uh, we're gonna start that up. I'll cut the cut the camera back on once we get this uh, fired up and let you see how it works. Not sure how well it's going to show up on the camera but uh, anyway it looks like uh, it's pre-staged enough now that we've got a, got a flame actually coming out of the uh, out of the pot I mean out of the uh, stove and uh, put in about uh, two and a half cups of water and we'll be adding ramen noodles one screen seems to work pretty good. Uh, no bubbles yet, but it's only been going for half a minute. Again, probably need to do this uh, when it's dark, but uh, maybe you can see some of the heat rising off the top of the can and everything else. Uh, stick my finger in there a few minutes ago. It's it's warmer than when I poured it out of the uh, container, but uh, of course it's not anywhere close to being ready. Uh, the amount of fuel that I put in generally lasts about uh, oh eight to ten minutes, I guess. And uh, so what I'm looking for is uh, that it should reach a boil at the uh, around six and a half seven minutes. Uh, don't have a top. Uh, plan to make a little top out of out of another can, uh, but. Uh, this seems to work very well. So uh, we'll turn the camera back on in a few minutes. Now I burned about, uh, oh, I guess, seven or eight minutes. Uh, I'm going to have to check the fuel and see how that's uh, working. Uh, it's windscreen. Uh, uh, not a big fan of it. It, it looks like it melted. Uh, the, Aluminum soda can just isn't cut out for the amount of heat that that alcohol puts off. So we'll be coming up with something else. I'm thinking about just getting some roofing flashing. You know that that held up okay, but it's 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 got some some melting on it. Uh, definitely got to get a lid. Uh, I took the lid off my thermos and put it on, and that made a big difference, as you can see. It's uh, Pretty hot and steamy. It didn't come to a rolling boil, but uh, I think it'll be uh, edible. Uh, 
picked up this little thing. Uh, you may have seen these at, uh, at Walmart. Uh, pretty neat little gadget. Uh, the only, only drawback that I have for it is uh, it's heavy. Uh, but it's got uh, you know everything you could want. It's got a knife, it's got a fork, it's got a spoon, uh, it's got a corkscrew, and it's got a bottle opener, can opener, those kinds of things. So anyway, I'm going to sit here and uh, have my noodles. I said, I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's edible. Uh, may have to uh, rethink uh, set up on this little stove. Uh, maybe that I've got uh, too many jets in it. I don't know. Uh, these seem to work real well. Uh, the staging pan seem to work real well. Uh, you know, as as alcohol stoves go, I guess these little homemade jobs that uh, everybody seems to uh, play around with from time to time. So anyway, here we are back at uh, Tillman Lake again, and uh, hope you uh, enjoyed our little uh, demonstration of our little uh, stove that we have here. Uh, make it a good day. Get out and enjoy yourself. Uh, it's warming up. It's in the uh, in the low 30s, I guess, probably 34, 35 degrees. Bright and sunny. And uh, always remember, if you don't get out back, you won't know what's going on outside. Have a good day. Well. If you can see behind me, it's starting to cloud up. Uh, they were saying there's a chance of uh, some more flurries and that type of stuff, and uh, always a chance of rain. So uh, we're going to probably be getting out of here soon. Uh, we've had a nice time. Had, uh, you know, got some good ideas about the uh, about the uh, alcohol stove. Make some changes there. Uh, just a great day to be out. Wind's picking up. It's getting a little bit a little bit cooler uh, now. Uh, again, we're in Tillman Lake today. Uh, uh, Charles County, Maryland. Uh, great little area to come. Uh, it's about a mile loop around the lake here, so uh, we see a lot of people normally out here. Not a lot of people out here today. I haven't seen anybody, as a matter of fact. So anyway, make it a good day. Always remember, you need to get out back so you know what's going on outside. Have a good day.